Mark, uh, first game um, with the Tigers and a win. Um, what's the mood in the camp after that? Um, I think, look, there's a, a sense of relief, really. I think the boys should, um, you know, aiming to get some confidence out of that, and I think there was some good confidence taken out of the out of the game. So uh, a win always always makes a difference, whether it's uh, pretty or ugly. So was encouraging signs for you there? Yeah, what was good? I just said to the forwards, I think, you know, we had a hundred percent set piece. But to counter that, we missed two more opportunities um, through our own doing. The first one was poor height. The second one was the uh, disconnect on the delivery. Um, and then they got to the corner and, um, and we were soft in the corner down there, which is unacceptable, which we'll, we'll look at. Um, obviously, technically, we haven't addressed everything, you know, in two days. So we've got to do what we've got to do. Um, the other thing is we piggybacked them down the field with some um, scrum uh, penalties and free kicks, which is, uh, again, it's uh, certainly not what we're after. And I was just trying to make them understand what I've been trying to do you know, for these few days is just get an understanding of the impact that it has on games, particularly in the Premiership. If you piggyback teams off the field, uh, you're going to suffer, and that's yeah. what happened. Have you been able to get your methods and your, your ideas across in those couple of days? Have you been able to start to get um, them to work? Obviously, it's very hard to get you know everything uh, on board in two, two or three days, but um, there's definitely been a, a sense of progress and a sense of understanding attained by the players, and their attitude's been excellent. It's a very good group. Um, I just think, look, they've been a little bit low on confidence and just like as a forward pack, just pulling them together as an eight. And uh, hopefully my experience can do that. Um, that's the main focus for me. Uh, you know, things like their line out, as I said to them um, earlier in the week, you know, the intellectual properties there, I think, you know, um, Brett Deacon and Graham Kitchener have actually been doing a good job. I think it's not the question of ball winning, it's the fundamentals where we're sort of letting ourselves down, which is the lifts and jumps and like that mall in the corner. Um, just the delivery, controlling the deliveries, you know. <clears throat> so that, that, that sort of level of understanding around fundamentals is important. That's what I'm pushing. And you mentioned confidence now, a win at home and a, and a good win in the end. Um, can it be good for confidence? Oh, 100%. Look, the, you know, the boys have done well. And the thing was, you know, we, we probably fed them too much. As I said, we piggybacked them up the field a few times. But also, we were making uh, errors in the middle of the field, um, you know, dropping some balls and... Uh, and consequently feeding them, and they're a team that you can't feed. If you feed Harlequins, they're gonna benefit from it. So, you know, we tightened up better in that area in the second half, and there was some good kicking in behind the line, which um, which brought our forward pack forward, and obviously the team forward. So I think we played a smarter game in the second half. And I look ahead to next week, um, Saracens away um, on, on the artificial pitch there. Is there much work that you will do now between, between now and then? Yeah, for sure. It's, uh, you know, I'm here now full time and, you know, the, the, you know what's really pleasing for me is uh, Matt's attitude towards me is, look, you know, we need to work and we need to work hard, and do what you do. Yeah. Um, and, you know, he's, he's, he's given me a, a ticket there, so I'm going to grab hold of it and make sure that I do everything I can to make this forward pack better. Thank you very much.